Hi, this is Richard, and welcome to another episode of Making Something from Nothing. We got a fire breathing dragon in the house today, so stick around. The entire video is being filmed with the new camcorder that was donated by Bart for the channel. Let me know what you think of the footage. Leave me a comment down below. Well, before I fire this thing up for you, I figured we'd go over uh, some of the details on it. So we'll take a closer look at it over on the bench and then go ahead and fire it up for everybody. Now the forge itself is just made from a paint can. So let's get some measurements. It's, uh, I don't know, seven and three quarter inches long. The diameter of this forge is six and a half. The ID is three and a quarter and the total depth of the opening is six and a half inches. If you're doing smaller blades, uh, this might be a viable option for you without going through the trouble of uh, building a much larger forge. Now this is my much larger forge that I built a while back. I have a video on it and I'll go ahead and put a link in the description. But if you have a small item to heat treat or a small knife, you may not want to go through the trouble of firing up a big forge like that. Now the feet were made just using some nuts and bolts. And you do that before you put in the refractory, so this way the refractory will set up around the bolts and keep them nice and secure. Now I certainly didn't invent this design. Uh, there's quite a number of them on YouTube. It works good. It just wasn't big enough for what I wanted at the time, so that's why I decided to make the bigger one. And this refractory was made from just a mixture of plaster Paris and sand, a 50-50 mix. Now it's not a long-term solution. Uh, these are prone over time, once they take a lot of heat, for the plaster of Paris to fail. And it's still in pretty decent shape. It does have some cracks and I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer and we'll try and take a look at it. Now I've got you a handheld over here at the moment so this way we could possibly get a, a better look at the interior of this thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show the cracks. This is high definition so hopefully it's showing on camera. But it has a couple of hairline cracks. It doesn't affect the forge at all at this point, but it's something to keep in mind if you do this. Like I said, it's not a long-term solution like that forge over there that has ceramic wool in it. But this is a much cheaper option. It's a very simple design. It's probably the easiest uh, forge burner or foundry burner to make. Uh, you've got about 10 inches of black pipe and it's threaded on one side, as you can see right here. Three quarter inch T. And let me go ahead and unscrew it and show you the business end. Now like I said, this is a very simple design. And basically all it is, is a .035 MIG tip. So I drilled a hole in the end raised in this 1 8 pipe nipple put a cap on the end if I can get that in view here I put a cap on the end and drilled it so this way I could thread in the MIG tip and that was a 6 by 1 metric tap and then you do whatever you have to on this business end to go ahead and run up to your propane. And I do highly recommend having a ball valve. This happens to be quarter inch. You can use whatever you have available. But if you make yourself one of these, you'll have a fine burner. And you can use it in a small forge like this, a big forge like I showed you earlier, or even a foundry furnace. So to give you a demonstration of this guy while it's working, uh, I just pulled this out of the scrap pile. This is just, uh, well, I'm not sure what it is, but it's pretty hefty. Probably weighs about uh, three quarters of a pound. And then I'm going to use some uh, bed frame angle iron. This is probably about the same width 
as a knife blade, so I think this is going to be a good test. So we'll go ahead and let the forge get up to temperature and see how long it takes for these two pieces of metal. I know which one is going to be ready first. For the forge but the angle iron that would be ready to quench probably a minute ago and the bolt and the nut is starting to get cherry red right now and let's go ahead and look and see what time we got So we got 10 minutes. And that's as hot as you would need to get it if you're heat treating metal. So hopefully this video showed you a viable option if your budget doesn't support building a bigger forge. Well, let's see how she's looking here. Oh yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of this little forge. Uh, like I said, it really works good as long as you have the right burner for it. But hopefully that'll help out anybody that, you know, is on a smaller budget and needs to do some heat treating. So this is Richard and the channel is making something from nothing. Please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. I would love to hear what you have to say about this or any other video that I have. And I'll put a couple of links down in the description to what I discussed that's already been shown on the channel. So thank you for watching and have a great day.